All right, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm actually going to be diving into uh, the Zen browser um, and showing you how to set up some of the extra mods and uh, get it set up the way I kind of have it set up. So this is a brand new install of the Zen browser with no extensions, mods, or anything uh, set up on it currently. I just chose like the default settings, you know, during the the beginning flow of um, of downloading it. And I kind of just want to show how I how I get everything set up and kind of answer some questions that some of you have been asking um, in the comments on, on previous videos that I've uploaded. Uh, so yeah, so let's uh, jump right into it. So first things first, I'll go into the settings here. That's kind of where you want to start. I did already make this my default browser on here. Um, so that's already set. And then as far as the settings go um, within within here. Um, I typically do have the tab cycle settings. Um, one thing that you can do if you have certain settings set up through Firefox already, um, you can sync your you can sync your browser to get your uh, history and bookmarks and and some of your settings across all your devices. So if you do have specific settings that would be under like the general tab here um, for like a regular. Uh, Firefox browser, um, you can just go ahead and sync them, um, which that's typically what I do. It's literally the same as, you know, doing it on a uh, Firefox browser. All right, uh, so I'm signed in and I can see that um, the sync is on and I have um, all these things already uh, syncing currently. So my bookmarks and addresses and everything have been saved now. So a lot of the settings that I would go through and, and set up, I don't have to, you know, redo those within the Zen browser. You know, those will be already set up. As far as look and feel goes, you can pick, pick between the, the browser layout. So you can have the single toolbar um, over here. You can have multiple toolbars as well. So if you want it to, you know, show up at the top of the screen and on the side, you can. Um, or you can just have it, you know, collapsed and then it puts the, uh, the address bar at the top um, only. And then you can go through and change like your look and feel over here. Um, if you want a colorful um, dark theme, regular dark theme, or just night theme. Um, and then you also can change uh, the way it, the compact mode um, is handled. So when you have compact mode enabled, you can actually have it not show any of these um, things on the, on the side. So if I do hide both and then go ahead and enable it, as you can see, now I have to put my mouse at the top there for those things to come back. So that's a very nice feature. If you want to have like a fully open browser where you don't have any of those distractions in the way um, with your tabs and everything, you can do that. Or you can do, you know, hide tab bar only or hide uh, the top bar only um, as well. So those are the, the different settings. I'm currently not uh, using that right now, so I'll uncheck that. But you have um, some other settings down here as well. At a glance, you can do alt uh, click. So that way when you're when you're clicking on a a new link. Um, you can actually preview the link uh, before you go to the actual link, which is a pretty cool feature. And then you also can enable the uh, the split view um, as well. I and mean, this is just enabling whether you want to change um, tabs on hover. So if you hover over your mouse um, on one tab, it'll automatically switch to that tab. So you can start you know typing. Um, otherwise, it would stay on the previous tab if you haven't clicked on it yet. Um, and then we can jump into the tab uh, management. So you know you would just want to go through these and see which um, options that you want to have set. Um, it should already have the ones that I want set by me. You know, syncing my account in here. So all that is pretty much the same. And then you do want to go with your shortcuts if you do. You know, prefer to use your keyboard for certain things. I do know that I do like to have. Let's see, close tab as Control Q instead and then you do have to press escape to so the conflict with another oh there's another one by default I believe that has this oh that's right here quit, quit application is on control q um, i'm on hyperland so i have win q as my quit application for all windows so i prefer not to have that there um, so i can go ahead and delete that and then have it not set and then I'll go ahead and put it back in here for uh, for that. Um, and then new tab, yeah, I like to have control T. And then also I do like to have it so, let me find it here. Uh, as far as switching workspaces, I like to have a control alt and then left for back. Oops, control alt left and hit escape. You gotta remember hit escape um, and then control alt right escape. Um, so now that's I can switch between workspaces, but I'll show you setting up workspaces here in a second very easily. Uh, and it's kind of a key binding that I prefer. Everything else seems pretty good. I didn't really change much, uh, much 
outside of that. So I'm going to keep all the rest of that the same. And the next section is really the 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 bread and butter to really make yours um, unique uh, to what you want, which is basically these Zen mods. Um, so you, this is on by default. So if it's not, you know, just go and take it on, and then you can go to visit store. And then when you go to the store, there's literally a bunch of different mods that, you know, other people have created that you can just enable. And it's super easy to enable these things. There's there's really you just want to go through all these and see which ones uh, are best for you. I did have a floating toolbar um, in one of my videos that some of you have asked about. Um, That's how I enabled that uh, there. And then you do have better active tabs as far as which ones, you know, highlighted. I do like you know, having this one on. So I am going to install that theme. So basically it, it highlights right there, as you can see, so you know which one is active and which one you're in. Title bar button UI. Um, this one's actually new. I might actually try that one out. Um, so sometimes when you enable it, it doesn't actually do anything right away. Uh, but you do have to go into the settings. So it'll show you in a second to actually configure it. So yeah, so you can have more of a fluid URL bar, um, which looks like this instead of the the kind of traditional one. I'm actually curious what that kind of looks like. Didn't really change anything. Uh, I do like to have this collapse X tab. So like when you're hovering over here, there's nothing to actually, you know, close this tab so if i do enable this one here go to install theme now when i hover over it the little x pops up so then i can close out that you know specific tab without using my keyboard shortcut if i'm just want to use my mouse for that that's very easy to do then let's see what else we got um bottom essentials i do like um you can actually put you know you have your tabs uh pin tabs you can put at the top but you also put essentials at the bottom that kind of show across um, different workspaces. Um, so I do like to have that enabled. Uh, there is one I really like that's called super pins, which I might have skipped past here. Let me go back super pins right here. So this one's pretty cool because you can have um, a lot of your pin applications kind of like this if you have this actually um, extended. Um, so I do like to have that um, enabled as well. So yeah, so once you enable all these, if you go back to your settings, um, you'll see that they're all enabled, but some of them will have like a little um, settings icon next to it. So you can actually configure it a little bit further. So if I want to go in here, you can dim um, unloaded tabs if you want to have that. So if something's not, you know, fully loaded, it'll be dim. So you know when you click on it, it's going to have to load that one specifically. Um, and then super pens. It has a bunch of different options that you can go in and, and uh, select. So you want to have make tabs have a similar you know background. Um, I do like to have that, and then um, also more of a boxy, less rounded edges. Um, I do like to have you know less rounded edges as you see within my um, configuration here in Hyperland. So I do like to have that, and then I like to add the background um, on the pens themselves. So if I go over here and I want to go to look and feel, and let's have a single um, toolbar over here and then let's say I want to go and first actually we're going to go into the de default uh, workspace here and what I like to do is create different workspaces for kind of you know my different workflows so essentially I'm going to edit this uh, workspace here and I'm going to make this my uh, YouTube one so I'm going to say Black Dawn and then I like to make this the uh, little controller um, go ahead and save that. And then you could also specify which default container um, you want it to be. So that's really nice because it automatically will default to a container when you add a new tab. So I'm going to go into settings um, and then actually edit my containers here. So I'm going to have one be black on. We'll make that one purple. And then I'll have one for my work stuff. Boss is, um, and then I can remove these two. I typically just like to have these two, um, and sometimes I like to have like a personal one as well outside of these two. But I find myself just using these two anyway, so I normally just have the the two um, containerized tabs. Um, so then when I go back up here to the workspace, I can go to set the default, and now this one's set to default as Black Dawn. Um, so when I'm on the Black Dawn one and opening up a new tab, um, it's automatically going to open that new tab in that specific. Uh, container. So that's really nice. And then I can go to, let me make sure that's actually enabled the yeah, selected container. And then I can add the other workspace. 
so we're gonna make this one floss and then normally pick like uh like office buildings or whatever um for that one um and then we're gonna make this default one the floss container all right so that one's set up as well and so now like i said before i made it control alt and then left and right so i could literally switch between my two different options there uh, very quickly and very easily with uh, the keyboard shortcut that I added um, there to switch between the two different options. So that's really nice. And then so like, for instance, if I want to go to my um, YouTube studio and pin that. All right. So now that I'm signed in, I can go ahead and uh, right click um, on this guy over here. So I can either add it to the essentials, which is going to add it at the bottom of the screen, or I can add it as a pin tab, which is going to add it at the top here. So now you see I've added it at the top. And then let's say I want to add uh, something else. So let's say I want to add like GitHub. So we're just going to go to github.com. I'm not going to sign it right now just to save time, but let's say I want to add GitHub here. And then I want to also pin that um, as a tab. So now that one's pinned up there as well um, as a tab. And it, and with the super pins, I was able to get the background and the highlighting colors um, of those tabs as well. So that's really nice uh, to be able to get that, you know, feature in there. And and I think it just looks, you know, cleaner than, uh, than otherwise. So yeah, so now I have my pins, I have my workspaces set up, and then you can just really just kind of make this your own and able the things that you want uh, within the settings. Um, so I can go back into the settings and then go to my Zen mods. And then you do have like your, your title bar um, UI tweaks. Um, there is a, a different title bar one that I do like uh, better than that. So let me see here. I think that one is, all right, here it is. Um, it's actually the Zen minimal exit menu, which I like. So as you can see here, I have uh, that one right now, but if I wanna go ahead and install this theme, um, it makes it like this little dot, um, and then it kind of changes as you hover over it. So I do like that one a little bit better than this other one. So I'm gonna remove this title bar tweak one, and then just go ahead and use this one. And then you can also say if you want certain things enabled within there as well, um, to make it more of like the Mac OS um, feel or, yeah, you can kind of change that uh, to your liking. All right, and um, lastly, some of you guys that are on Hyperlin um, were also asking, how did I make my uh, window transparent? So you can do this for pretty much any window or any application that you have um, on your system. So basically you want to go into, you want a Nano or Zip, uh, Vim or whatever you use um, into the window rules um, or Hyperlin config wherever your window rules are um, stored. Um, and then once you're in there, um all of these are you're going to be able to use the window class and you can use uh the hyper i think it's hyper clt um clients and it'll it'll list all of the open windows and their window names that you have um, open at the time so right now um the one that i want to show you is the zen um this used to be zen alpha but now it's beta after the most recent um, update um, but zen uh, beta is the window name or in the class name rather, uh, for the Zen browser. And then you can change the um, opacity uh, by changing the value here. Um, so I have it set to 90 currently, um, but I have this one commented out. Um, so if I uncomment it and then go ahead and close and write out, um, now you can see that there is some um, uh, transparency to, to my window here. So now I have some transparency. You can see my uh, wallpaper a little bit in the background, and you can change uh, the values to your liking uh, to get it the way the way you want it. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to kind of go over that and show people how to kind of customize the Zen browser. And if you like this, yeah, please consider subscribing um, and liking the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.